Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cami, and today's video is going to be about getting pregnant as a teen and becoming a young mom and the reality of it and all of that and also I asked you guys to ask me any questions you had on my Instagram so I will also be incorporating some of those but it's honestly just gonna be a video about kind of like my story and like what you know what's going on in my life and what it's like being a young parent so if you guys are into that please consider subscribing and becoming a part of my youtube channel and yeah i'm just gonna get started uh, i'm gonna go ahead and answer some of the questions that you guys have asked me on instagram and then if i feel like i need to go on into more detail or explain something else then i will and also my instagram will be down below if you guys are not following me <clears throat> okay okay so one of the questions is um were you planning on having any kids and would you have any more so um i wasn't planning on having kids at that time that i got pregnant um i wanted them in maybe like three or four years so a couple years later than like now um, is when I ideally wanted to be a parent. I didn't want to be a parent as like a teenager or a young adult. That was not my idea of how I wanted my life to be. Um, but I didn't want to be like 30 when I had kids. I knew I wanted to be like 25, 26, something like that um, in that age just because I didn't want to be like a super old mom. I so I felt like if I was like a 25 or 26 year old mom, I'd, I'd be a cool mom. Um, that's just what I thought. And uh, my husband is older than me. He's like three years older than me. So he also didn't want to have kids as young as he was. But again, he was, you know, three years older than me. So he had experienced more out of life than I had. Um, and now I, I would like to have another kid. Um, my husband's not too fond of the the idea right now i guess i don't know if he i don't know if he wants to have another kid or not um i don't think that we are in a situation as of right now that we can provide for another kid um there's just we don't have a very big house and my husband is trying is going to school and like working so i just want him to get a job that he's happy with like content with before we start trying to add to our family if that's something that we want to do later on what is the biggest struggle as being a teen mom so i am a young parent as of now i got pregnant as a teen but i am no longer a teen um so i guess just being for me it was i don't want to sound like cliche or anything but it was honestly when you become a young parent even if you're like in your like early 20s or if you're a teenager you do lose friends you lose opportunities you lose just things in life um for for me becoming a young parent and in like a teenage pregnancy was it wasn't like hard because it's just it happened and I knew that I was gonna love my kid and all of that and I had my husband who was then at the time my boyfriend and he was very supportive of all of it and I think it was just losing my friend it's not like I had a billion friends to begin with but definitely when I got pregnant you just people don't want to hang out with you as much and I wasn't at the age of where I could like legally drink and do all of that stuff when I got pregnant and like when I had my kid so I missed out on all of that kind of stuff that people are like just now starting to do like all of my friends now not really my friends anymore but like my Facebook friends are, are like out going parties and out drinking and doing a lot of stuff and that's not something that I can do I mean I guess I could but you know like I'm a parent now so that comes first but I didn't get to experience life I guess um life so the next question is would you recommend getting pregnant young what are some pros slash cons love your channel thank you so much so i don't recommend getting pregnant young unless that is like something that you are ready for and you know that you're ready for it um i wasn't in school at the time i wasn't like in high school 
I was taking college classes because I already graduated high school. Um, so, I mean, I just, I don't recommend it unless like you have your together, you know? Because we, me and my husband now, we, we weren't ready. We had just, you know, started getting used to each other and all that. And then I got pregnant and that kind of just throws a bunch of life things at you. It's definitely not a bad thing. You definitely learn a lot about yourself and about your partner, but you have to be ready to have a kid. Um, so if you're in high school, definitely, you know, don't try to get pregnant or anything. Even if you're like in college, don't, you know, try to get pregnant young. You need to be able to support your kid. You need to be able to handle having a kid. You can't just leave, you know, your kid with your family all the time like you have to step up and actually be a parent so if that's not something that you think that you can handle don't try to have a kid at a young age um what was the lowest point of your pregnancy and what was the highest point so i feel like the lowest point was when i found out that i was pregnant just because i was so scared and worried um and i just didn't know what my family was gonna think i feel like that was the lowest point but then as well as I just kind of, I didn't have like a super hard pregnancy, like I didn't have a lot of morning sickness or anything like that, but I had a lot of stress going on in my life at that time. Um, so at, when I got pregnant, I was I was working two jobs. Um, my husband, then at the time boyfriend, was in the Air Force. Um, I ended up losing one of my jobs because of just stuff. And then... Um, my dad fell off a roof and that was really stressful and I had like high blood pressure throughout the pregnancy and I had to take those kind of pills and that was like a concern for like the health of the baby and all of that stuff. Um, so I feel like that and was hard just because stress is not a good thing while you're pregnant. And then I think just the highest point was honestly just going to every appointment because even though at every appointment they would tell me I'd had, you know, intense blood pressure going on and they'd be like we're gonna up your dose of the pills and all of that and like talk to me about all that stuff like every single time um you, you know you get to see your baby in the little sonogram and then it's just you get to feel him or her and it's honestly such a beautiful thing um is it hard being a teen mom is the dad involved so i'm assuming you have not watched my channel yet um, I am no longer a teen mom. I am a young parent now. Um, and my boyfriend is now my husband. My boyfriend, when we got pregnant, he is now my husband. We got married while I was pregnant because I just wanted to be pregnant. Or not pregnant. I wanted to be married when the baby came. That was like always my ideal thing in my head is I'm going to be married when, you know, I have a kid. And we were going to get married anyway. Just not as soon as we got married um but yeah he's involved and it's just hard because you're again you're isolated you don't have as many friends it's just hard being a teen or a young woman in general because you're still like learning everything with your body and after having a baby a lot of things change and again no matter what age you are having a baby is going to be hard and it's going to be a learning experience okay so you guys know that i was um out of high school when i got pregnant so i can't relate to you guys who you know are still pregnant in high school and like trying to go to school and do all of that i completely understand that that is probably very difficult and i have to say if i had gotten pregnant while i was still in high school and hadn't graduated yet that I mean, I didn't know my husband at that time, but if I had, and it turned out that I was pregnant in high school, I feel like I honestly, I don't know, I probably would have just done online classes and try to graduate that way. I just, people are mean, and even being, like, where I was, I wasn't in high school anymore, and my high school friends still, like, chose to, like, not want to be a part of my life because I had gotten pregnant. And that really, really hurt. Um, it, you know, in high school you feel like these people are always going to be your friend and they're going to have your back. And in reality, most of them don't. And especially when you get pregnant, you, you truly learn who your friends are. I was 
you know, trying to go to college and taking some classes online and at school and then got pregnant, had my dad's stuff, just kind of stopped doing stuff and just like lived my life as a pregnant woman and like went to doctor appointment and that was kind of what I was doing while I was pregnant. Um, and now I'm just kind of a stay at home mom and I try to take care of my son. I don't know if I'm ever going to try to go back to college. I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. Um, and I think if you have the time and you can financially pay for college, if that's something that you want to do, that's a great thing. My dad was paying for my college, but now that I am married and I have a kid, that's not, you know, that's not an option anymore. Um, so yeah, everybody's life turns out a little differently. We obviously love my son very much and we are doing everything we can to support him and have a good future. And if you are pregnant as a, a teenager or a young parent or you're going through hard times of anything, just believe that you can do it and believe that it's going to be okay because I mean, our life is fine. I don't have a degree. I don't have a million friends. I don't live in a mansion, but I have my son. I have my husband and I have what's, you know, important to me in my life. I have my dad and my grandparents and I have my husband's family now and that's all really, really great. So thank you guys for watching. I know this was like a rambling video, but I just kind of wanted to sit down and tell you guys a little bit of my story or give you a little info in case you guys are new. So yeah, I hope you guys will consider subscribing and being a part of this journey of me being a young parent and see what goes on in our life. Bye guys.